back to cooking with Ash. Today I will be making you guys some vegetable chow mein. And these are the ingredients we will be using to make our chow mein. So here I have some onion that has been um, chopped up. I have here some cilantro, some red bell peppers. You can use whatever color you would like. Um, I have here some carrots that I chopped up. You can grate this, shred it up, dice it up, however you prefer. I like it this way. I have here some dry thyme, some fresh grated ginger, um, some of my green seasoning, one weir weir pepper. I have here some celery, scallion, and I'm using purple cabbage because I love the color. It gives the chow mein. Um, I'm using some basil, and here I have some poi bachi that I'm using, and I'm using um, the chow mein seasoning from the Chief brand. And here we have some flavor meat, garlic and herb flavor meat, and some five spice. And I'm, I have here some corn that I'm probably gonna use like probably half of the can. And I have here some chow mein noodles, and I'm using the Imam brand. I personally love the way that it cooks and the taste of it. But again, you can use any brand you would like. I have here salt um, that I'm gonna add to my water that I have heating up on the stove. So I probably have about four or five cups of water um, to boil my noodle in that is heating up. So as soon as that is heated up, I'll show you the next step into making our vegetable chow mein. Guys, I forgot to show you the sauce I will be using too in the, the chow mein. So here I have some um, soy sauce. I have some mushroom flavor soy sauce. And then I have some Chinese sauce. So these are the three sauces I will be using in our chow mein. Um, you can use any brand you find, um, but these are the ones I will be using. Again, the um, amount that I will be using will be listed in the description below along with the measurement. So guys, here we have our water for our noodle that has been boiling. It's coming to a rolling boil. I'm just gonna go ahead and add our salt to this. And then we're gonna add our noodles. I went ahead and cracked my noodle in half because I don't want it so long. I just went ahead and cracked it in two. In goes our noodle. And to that, I am going to add our carrots because I want my carrot to steam with my noodle because I, I chopped it a little bit um, bigger so I wanted to get a little bit cooked and softened with my noodles but it still would have the crunch to it. Remember the noodle doesn't take long to boil so probably about maybe about six, seven minutes, our noodle is gonna be ready. So we're gonna start the stir frying process of our other ingredients. It's been about six minutes now and my noodles is ready and this is how I know it's ready. You just take one of the noodles in your hand and you press lightly and you see it split in two. That's how you know it's ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and strain this and we're gonna stir fry all our veggies with our noodle now. Guys, here we have about three tablespoons of oil heating up. You can use less if you prefer it. I'm gonna add my onion, my celery, my cilantro, my, my green seasoning, my ginger, my pepper, all in here to start saute down, fry up. And I'm trying to get everything in. basil and I'm holding off my scallion and my um, soy bhaji just mixing everything in And it smells amazing. In goes our red bell pepper. And I have my heat on high, guys, because I want to like stir fry this. I don't want anything to get too soggy on me. 
in goes our corn. And my veggies. You can use um, bok choy, baby spinach, whatever you have. These are um, poi baji that I picked for my garden. So with quarantine, I'm using whatever I have in my pantry and make do with it. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my um, noodles. Trying to get every bit out of here. Just combining it. Look at the beautiful color it is. In goes our mushroom sauce. Our tiny sauce. And these are like ticking the bottle. It's so hard to come out, but I just shake it well. And guys, you can substitute in some of these sauces if you don't want to use them. You can substitute them with whatever sauce you usually use. You can substitute it with casserip, whatever. I just love the flavors these sauce bring to my noodles. And the color it gives. with my flavor mate and my um, five spice and I'm adding my um, salmon seasoning remember our sauce is already salty too so you have to know to balance the um, saltiness from the spices and the sauce I like my noodles a little bit darker on the darker side. If you don't like it this dark, you can always um, adjust the sauce. And now I'm gonna add my scallion to this and my purple cabbage. And I'm gonna take it off the heat. I'm just working everybody in. And here you have it guys, our finished vegetable chow mein. The flavor on this is on point, believe me. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. Please share this recipe. Please like and subscribe for more amazing videos from my kitchen to yours.